What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today, we actually have week six against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is going to be a super hard, um, super hard task for us to uh, beat the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's look at the players ready to negotiate. We have a lot of sap, uh, sap calorie. Why have I, that's the second time I've done that, believe it or not. Cap salary, Laramie Tunsil's 29, aging, Desmond King's 28, probably done developing after next year. And you'll start to regress, so not something you like to see. Uh, none of these guys really pique my interest. I mean, other than Ike Boger here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if he wants like a thousand or a million dollars, that's fine. And uh, Crisis in Confidence. Your receiver wants to talk about his lack of production. I'd have to assume it's John Mechie, though. I'd have to. Is anybody else? I'm going to be super surprised. Yeah. John Mechie. I haven't been as productive. We'll make him a promise, you know, we'll try to get him involved, I guess, and, I mean, 100 plus, Mechie's not about to go off today after, I mean, well, with this this uh run defense on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I think we might have to throw the ball just a little bit more than usual, so, uh, oh, Duke McKee, I don't think we'll be worried about him, I think we'll be worried about Leonard Fournette running the ball and then probably blitz counter would probably be the best thing for us and then we're gonna look at what we want we're gonna try to uh intercept this the 73 overall quarterback and then go through and do all of our normals and then yeah these are all of our uh star players in their role so still trying to figure out Corey west and kirk lott's uh development trait i'd have to assume star for both of them but go ahead and start training now as uh, we head into this, I'm sure we'll have upgrades, but no injuries, it seems, on the defensive side of the ball. And on the offense, no injuries as well. Love to see that. And uh, yeah, let's go look at what sort of upgrades we have, because probably have at least one. So upgrades, Isaiah Pacheco, Bobby Biddle, Thomas Booker. Uh, we'll start with Isaiah Pacheco. I don't see why not. Uh, go to his ratings real quick. I mean, yeah, we just kind of just developed him as an elusive back that can break a tackle occasionally. So I think we'll just go up one more with Isaiah Pacheco. Uh, change the directions up, speed, everything up. So love to see that. Also, Bobby Biddle, the corner that struggles in zone coverage. Uh, we play a lot of zone here, so probably going to have to uh, move zone up a little bit more if he's ever going to plan on playing. Plus two zone coverage is huge, uh, playing up to 68 now. So we'll try to match all that. Sammy Watkins actually has an upgrade here. Uh, what is he good at? His route running isn't that great. Um, catching, I mean, he's showed that he could catch the ball. Probably want playmaker him to do well after the catch probably what we're hoping for why did i just turn into like the southern man probably what we're hoping for i don't, I don't know why i said it like that then thomas booker as you also saw down there right now on russ blacklock though we'll just keep developing him as a run blocker or as a run stopper uh he's just been pretty good in that role but also has like a, a sack occasionally uh, so I'd like to see that, but Thomas Booker, the sophomore now, I think he is, uh, probably just want him as a run, run stopper as well. Yeah. This will be his second year out of Stanford, surely just to stop the run on goal line situations as he will go up. I don't even want to see that upgrade, but, uh, Austin D. Kellius, Dekulis, I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, yeah, let's hop into the game now. All right, Damian Pierce, after having a massive week last week, uh, stretching on the sidelines already, trying to prepare up. I mean, look at that. Look at that. 23 carries, 173 yards, three touchdowns. I don't know if you guys saw that one. Only the longest run of 29 yards with this 86 speed, by the way. So, yeah, uh, we will be working as the kickoff. I like kicking off. I say this every episode. Kicking off is better because you receive it at – after half, and it just kind of allows you to stop momentum if momentum's going. It just puts you in a better place. I'd much rather, I'd much rather, is that Terry Cohen? 
I'd much rather kick the ball off and get it back at halftime than anything else. And we see the rookie hopping onto the field. So far has had a pretty bad season. Uh, not as bad as Davis Mills, quite. But some can argue that, yeah, it's not that great. OJ Howard on the field as well. Forgot about him. But we will move forward in my chair. Try to focus up. Kevin Waddle and Christian Harris, linebackers on the field now. Who Tyreek Cohen now takes that one out. I mean, just some speed. Well, I, I'm confused. Why is he playing? Uh, he's playing again. I mean, is Lenny out? Lenny should be a better third down back than Tyreek Cohen, like rated in the game. And CJ Gardner Johnson, Johnson uh, just drops his first INT attempt right there. I mean, that was about to be an INT, no doubt. But... Ended up actually not being one as Christian Harris will try to meet Tyreek Cohen in the gap and he can't make that tackle. And Tyreek Cohen's actually hurt. Yeah, well, that's what you get. And is that Leonard Fournette now? Jeez, dude. They didn't have Leonard Fournette in before. And they just throw it right on us. Yeah, give me Stingley, dude. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, Madden is something, something else, man. Targets Waddle immediately. Christian Harris will be manned up on the on the running back. And we'll see him break a tackle. Jalen Peach are going to try to size up Leonard Fournette. He's good for 17 yards because uh, apparently Christian Harris can't get off a block. So, pretty much just leaves him where he's at. And then Kevin Waddle back in coverage. Desmond King trying to... Close some on uh, Leonard, Big Lenny, playoff Lenny. We'll rush four here. Warwick, Rasheem Green, Akwidi, Muhammad. And can we get after the quarterback, Max Warwick? That is a, a, a sack from him. Our rookie defensive tackle playing a, a pretty special role here for us so far this season. He's been very good. And Desmond King, good pass break up there. It's a, in a good animation, and it'll be fourth and three. I have a chance just to hold the Buccaneers to a field goal here. They should have ran the ball a little bit more, not going to lie. Had that going for him, but we'll have the ball back now. And we'll see Davis Mills' number as he comes, numbers as he comes onto this. I mean, yeah, not good. Not bueno. <laughs> no bueno. But looking to improve on those today and try to throw 100 to John Mechie. That's going to be difficult, but I can see it as doable, I guess. As uh, John Mechie won't even find himself on the field. We have a two tight end set. And one of the tight ends will get a target. Not quite the... Uh, we don't have time in the pocket. That's just how it's going to be. And I don't know if we'll be able to run the ball. I guess we can test if we are going to be able to run towards Joe Tryon Shoinka. But also Vita Vea cut up the, the other way. And that's a run of four yards right there. Nothing spectacular, but we will go play action here and have a guy off the edge uh, just get in immediately. Well, that was a quick three and out, or I guess four and out, right? Three and out. Why am I blanking on that? That is something I should know basically by heart. But yeah, not something ideal to forget. As McGee will get that one. A lot of Mick on this team. You have McKee and McGee. What else do you got? What else? You will... I mean, and they'll run the ball. Can we get a not... Yes, he can fumble the ball. And it'll be picked up by Mike Evans. That is two possible uh, turnovers that have just been failed opportunities for us. We have uh, struggled to do... Any sort of business there. Kevin Waddle actually going to try to blitz. And, and, uh, play better, Derek Stingley. Had an angle on that and everything. Lay out to jump that route or something. Don't just allow curls all day long. That's what Derek Stingley does. He just... Oh, my God. Christian Harris almost had an interception. Animated for it, but couldn't quite make a play on it. That's a third almost, uh, almost turnover. Right there, Kevin Waddle playing in coverage now. 
and Stingley. We're going to try to stop anything from happening here. It'll be third and two. We stopped them on third and three. We're going to blitz here. We're going to pinch the line. Nobody's in the backfield. Can we spread out the line? We're going to shift the line right. And it's going to be like a screen pass. Can we stop it? We stop it. Good stuff right there. Who is that on the offense? It's Justin or John Ross. It's John Ross, which is uh, interesting, actually. But, oh, this one will be picked. What is that punt? We'll be up at the 34-yard line. Uh, is that Camarda? I don't know if that's Camarda or not, but that's DeMarta. That's a bad kick. Well, we'll run the ball here with Isaiah Pacheco looking for any sort of luck as we do go through Krieger Hill, the former Texan, uh, and Devin White. So that's fun to know, Krieger Hill on this team. Uh, well, Damian Pierce can't do anything. It'll be third and three. He's pretty much stopped in his tracks. We'll go with the, the good old Texas trail right here. Look for an open receiver. Uh... I'd say that's pretty open. John Mechie getting upfield. Go try on Shoyinka playing a big role here for the uh, the Bucks in his second year. Dude, just get off of your block a little bit better. Pacheco trying to run through. And Tony Winfield or Antoine Winfield, however you want to say it. And now we'll run a screen in Pacheco's direction. Had a good block there from Kenyon Green. Just couldn't hold it forever, which is understandable. He held it for a reasonable amount of time. And uh, we'll go. We'll work off of play action here. Maybe want to run the ball, but not going to. We'll move. We'll find Sammy Watkins out of reach. Uh, good play right there. We had a chance, but just nothing to get us like going. I guess as watch out, John Mechie under pressure once again. I, I don't know what to do in that situation as uh, John Mechie found himself wide open. But whatever. And we'll find it to John Mechie. He'll actually catch the ball. Trying to force it a little bit. I can't lie. Uh, trying to just get him his 100 yards as soon as we can. That way we can open up this offense a little bit. And uh, we will run off of play action one more time. They do end up actually bringing a blitz. And what is that route? There is a flag. It might be holding. Uh... What is that route? And Jordan Poyer's on this team, by the way. Holding, offense. Oh, wait, defense? Okay, no. Uh, well, it's called defense because whatever. Yeah, it's just a bad... What is... I don't even know what that play was. Bad play call by me, but also should not have happened in the first place. And Jonathan Grenard flattens. And then Alquadine Muhammad on it. Alquadine Muhammad towards the end zone. Flies in like a plane. Defensive score for the de or for the defense if Texans. Sure, we'll go with that phrase. My brain can do whatever it wants. And we'll nail this extra point and the Tex the Buccaneers will have the ball back. Damn! And Christian Harris pretty much just monitoring the middle of the field. The best he can. Mike Evans makes a good catch on the sidelines there just for seven yards. Playing pretty bad coverage and all things considered, as we want to probably play a little bit better than that. As, I mean, this one looked like a run early, and this one will still look like a run. Rasheem Green and whoever the hell was in that. Altquadine Muhammad. Maybe having a breakout game, as we'll try to guard with Kevin Waddle here. Could still be a run, by the way, as well. Doesn't look like it. Christian Harris, you got to make a better play than that, buddy. Max Work actually working upfield, making that tackle. Love to see that from our rookie defensive tackle. Uh... Obviously, he played super well so far uh, this season as he will hopefully continuing, continue developing uh, as Kevin Waddle and Christian Harris get in each other's way after a little check down was thrown to O.J. Howard. Let Cashman into the backfield now. Jalen Petrie has a sack. What a play by Jalen Petrie. Uh, just blitzing, honestly. I mean... What else can you say? Just a blitzing guy that was unaccounted for gets in the backfield immediately as he was trying to make a throw as he just couldn't make a throw as we will pretty much have the QB contained. Christian Harris forces another fumble, picks it up, and this one will be housed. Teaching that guy not to scramble anymore. And Max Warwick, our defensive tackle that we were praising just not too long ago, goes down. We'll get our second defensive score. 
Christian Harris working that one well, just flattening the quarterback as he fumbles for the second time. And uh, we'll, we'll put Russ Blacklock in. Can't risk any long-term injury there from Max Warwick. Yo, no, I'm, I'm showing this play. I wasn't ready to commentate on it or anything. But can we get a chase down tackle with Derek Singley Jr.? That's awesome. But, no, no, no. You guys have to see what happened there. That is just all a dumb play. Obviously, Kevin Waddle gets locked into an animation. It's just such bullcrap sometimes. It really can be. And working back inside, Tyreek Cohen trying to find somewhere where there is no... Uh, spot as we will pinch the line again and blitz but kevin waddle working on the running back and it's a sack from no other than christian harris already a defensive touchdown a forced fumble now a sack yeah you're kidding and we're gonna spread out immediately looking for someone here to go and get him it'll be another sack there and it is Steven Nelson, who actually has played a pretty well during this uh, Texans franchise. We'll hold them to just another field goal as this Bucks offense struggles to get anything going. So uh, we have really good uh, defensive coverage. We have a bend but don't break mentality going right now. And back on offense now for the first time in what feels like forever with the two defensive scores. Just trying to get up field with Damian Pierce as we do. We'll, we'll hurry it up, try to get ahead of time you know try to beat the clock and we'll rush this way I mean didn't really have options and Nico Collins comes down with that yeah that's why he's the best on the team no doubt in my mind uh Nico Collins has played like an absolute stud on this uh Texans offense you just constantly see him making plays like that and that's what really makes you want to target him more and more each and every day um nothing quite open can we get that to brevin jordan no he goes out of bounds very much like this texans offense to do as we'll try to find nico collins or uh john mechie as we it's kind of just been missing out on him good job getting and staying in bounds there that's, that's what we were really trying to do and john mechie once again getting a load of targets he's been pretty good with them as well not saying that he's been the best on the team, I mean, so far, but just trying to beat his guy as well. John Mechie to turn it up field. And uh, he's got to be a little bit gassed by now, but he's playing well. He's playing good. Has five receptions for 57 yards. Andy Isabella will sub into that slot uh, wide receiver now. So, yeah. Oh, God. Just a panic throw. Andy Isabella will actually come away with that one. To no surprise, Andy Isabella has been one of the better uh impact players for us really early and isaiah pacheco will actually reach for it there and uh kruger hill was in the backfield but jacob saying i used to do this in practice all the time gets that one done as we only have five rushing attempts on the day we've only called five rushing plays so it'll be 21 to 6 as this bucks offense struggles to get anything going as uh they have a lot of time in five three timeouts i almost said five timeouts i don't know why but they will actually have time to uh, go down and score here if they can or try uh this one will be neat in the end zone there by tyree cohen uh just an interesting dynamic of a team this uh bucks offense has been obviously we aren't i didn't ramp the sliders up like way too too much but like can we get on him max warwick so why did someone what is happening why what the hell just happened there? Bobby Biddle comes up with a big tackle. But I don't I don't understand what happened there. I called for someone to go, and then two people went. Left Mike Evans wide open on a little dump down in the middle. A little interesting right there. This can still be a run with the three timeouts. I didn't really expect it. Okay. As it actually will be a run. They're running the ball so well on us. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, Yeah, it's just I, I up their, their run block as well, so. That could be a reason, just saying. But Christian Harris laying out uh, Chris Godwin after a quick catch for him. Rod God. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys watched Bangle at all, but I mean, if you did, you understand that reference. 
And Christian Harris right now trying to cover the middle of no man's land. Derek Stingley, make a tackle. Why isn't... Dude, I am struggle. They will go for a play here. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting the way that time kind of settles with no timeouts. And they'll be stopped short. And that's it. I mean, they just blew a chance out of field goals to make it 9-21. to They wanted the touchdown. And we will get the ball back. But let's check what the teams are doing first, what the other teams around the league are doing. And here in Cleveland, or Jacksonville actually, uh, Deshaun Watson playing a huge game. Nick Chubb did well. Russell Gage is actually producing quite well. Uh, big game for LaVisca Chenault as well. Seven receptions. Pretty big impact on that offense. And then we got Minnesota and Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers throwing, you know, a casual 174 in the first half. As that comes to an end, as Justin Jefferson is two receptions, 69 and a touchdown. Uh, here in New Orleans, or, yeah, that's where this would be, New York. Not not New Orleans. But Baker Mayfield is New Orleans, or New York's quarterback. He's doing well over there. And the rookie continues to, uh, Chad Griffin continues to keep this one going. But look at this right here. Jonathan Grenard. And then Alquadine Muhammad uh, scoops that one right up and puts that one into the end zone. And then it uh, looks like this will be the same thing here again. Uh, has all day in the pocket, by the way. All day. Max Wart gets it out, but uh, Mike Evans makes a great play up the field. So, interesting. But we do get the ball back, like I said. Trying to make this one 28-6 and trying to get John Mechie a little bit more involved. And here we are on four verticals, audible to PA crossers, and seeing what John Mechie can do. Not much. We'll just give it out to Brevin Jordan for a good gain of a four yards. Four yards right there. Just simple, easy, quick four yards. As I'm guessing, Tro Joe Tryon and Shoyinka will drop back into coverage. He does. We'll try to scramble with Davis Mills. A little sketchy there. Don't really matter. Doesn't I don't really care, is what I mean to say. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't fumble in the long run as number 90? Who is that? On the defensive line makes a good play. And holding on the offense, my guess is... Oh, Corey Weston. I was going to guess Kenyon Green, but... Corey Weston with the holding, the rookie center. As Sammy Watkins now coming across the field. Trying to make a good play after the catch, but just can't. Just can't make a good play there. Does try to, but just can't. That's that's the word there. As we'll go working off of play action. I think they bit for it. And we'll try to get this one to John Mechie, who just tries to bring it in with one hand. Use two hands, son. Use two hands. That's what we're really trying to teach these guys. I do see Nico Collins in press coverage. I do see AJ Long have some daylight. No, we're going to go for it early. And it's going to be an interception somehow. Look at this bitch is 5'9". That's Kendall Fuller, Kyle Fuller. I I don't even care. Bitch is 5'9". Nico Collins, 6'3", at least. And he gets bitched like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, this is why Davis Mills has like three picks come from this situation right here. Ah. Uh, like, bro, he literally towers. He has a whole helmet above Fuller. Whole helmet. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even go up. Doesn't even, like, fucking animate, dude. That shit is what annoys me about this game. As broken tackle from Rod God there uh, continues to just trend up the field. So they've got really good weapons on this offense. They've obviously developed Tyreek Cohen into something that he was when we first expected him to do well and produce as why dude i didn't expect that i expected steven nelson because of how bad it is excuse me desmond king actually a good switch on for once but Dion gray here we're gonna have him blitz and Dion gray i mean just leaves a man wide open what are you doing Dion gray god dude oj howard we'll see a lot more of kate otten come in then be my guess i think it's kate otten that's going to come in and play we'll go to christian harris here who's got wow that was really good by christian harris just realizing the formation early the way that the quarterback's moving the way that his eyes were just everything was uh 
Really good read there from uh, Christian Harris. Getting into the backfield a little bit earlier than most people would like. Why did it give me... C okay, that's what I'm talking about. It gave me CJ Gardner-Johnson in the end zone there when I tried to switch on and make a big play. So I'm just giving you guys perspective on what I'm complaining about because it is ridiculous. Can we even... No, can we get a block shed? Block shed, something happened. Thank you. Four yards still for Lenny. Big playoff Lenny. Also, I will be gone on a trip, or a, not on a trip, it's not necessarily a trip. I will be gone house-sitting for someone for a little bit. Uh, I'll be gone for nine days, starting the 21st. Uh, and so, that's just something that's going to happen. Which, I mean, it doesn't suck, necessarily, but just can't upload uh, while I'm gone. And I'm not going to bother pre-recording hour-long videos, hour-long recordings, and do all the editing and processing and whatnot. So, kind of sucks. But, yeah, not something that I'm real happy about is leaving, but I kind of have to, you know. As it'll be 13 to 21, we'll get the ball back. And I'm just letting you guys know in case this video does well or whatever, and you guys wait to see another one. It's just not going to happen. Andy Isabella on the receiving spot. Let's see here. Wow. Joukowsky Tart blows Andy Isabella up. That's, yeah, interesting. And working here through the passing offense. Off of play action. I don't care. I'll give it to him anyways. Would have had it. But ends up being thrown so far out of possibility. Nothing happens. It's just ridiculous, man. It is. I mean, like, get something. And Brevin Jordan on a nice cut. Get up field, buddy. Big man, let him eat. Uh, I was thinking about, yeah, I can't say that. That's bad. But I, I was going to give you some spoilers here. Oh, my God. What is happening? <laughs> but, yeah, I was I was thinking about making some moves here for this Texans, uh, this Texans offense here. John Mechie absolutely flattened. No excuses. That is horrible by me just leading my receiver into that right there. Uh, John Mechie going to be running a preferred route. Just give him that. No, it's going to be picked off! Dude, it's so fucking stupid. Let him score. I don't even care. Pacheco, if you can make that. Oh, no, just run with him. Fuck you, Carlton Davis. My God. And they're going to try to tie the game up now. Christian Harris, hopefully not going to let that happen. As he'll come screaming. Good stuff by Christian Harris. I'm screaming in there. That all comes from trying to force it to John Mechie, which we shouldn't be doing in the first place. Probably should run the ball on third and one there. Uh, just looked very convertible, but ended up airing it out for uh, John Mechie. As we'll have a good return up to the 27. And we'll try to get something going here on offense other than John Mechie himself. Probably look out to Pacheco if uh, we see no man coverage on him. We do. And we see some blitzers come in. Just kind of have to throw this one away. Just airmail that one to the sidelines. And just lift to die another day. You know? Uh, I do like where Mechie is. Can we anticipate that throw? No, we can't. It's a bullet pass. It means we can't anticipate a throw? I don't know. This game's fucking broken, by the way. I don't know if you guys have caught up on all that, but... Yeah. Try to thread the needle with John Mechie. Doesn't matter. Devin White's the best cover linebacker in the fucking league, apparently. So, just knows exactly what to do, where to go, when to be there. So, we'll punt the ball now as we just try to force it to... Uh, John Mechie. We'll wrap Tyreek Cohen up at the 24, though. Derek Stingley Jr. doing a good job of that. And Kevin Waddle, obviously Christian Harris is here. Gonna try to get in and cause some disruption. And Kevin Waddle just standing in no man's land, letting that play happen right there. Did eventually get in with Christian Harris though, but it was a little bit too late as Kevin Waddle will be the new blitzer now. As we'll uh, opposite here, we'll have Christian Harris back in coverage. And Desmond King just overruns that like crazy. Who the hell is that? Is that the Darden kid? No, it's Justin Ross or John Ross. I just like Justin Ross a lot, so, you know. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just crazy. We might see a run here. We don't. We do. Actually, it's a quarterback run. Flat, flatten him. Jalen Petrie. Make him fumble. God, your pussy ass hits. Jalen Petrie. Can't make anything happen. We'll head into the fourth quarter. I can't believe that this is even a close game after being up 21 to 6. So, it's kind of where we stand right now. This one, we kind of expect a run right here. It's not. Just throws it out to Chris Godwin. Gets out of bounds after just eight yards right there. Pinch the line. Play a linebacker here. Uh, I mean, we still have to. We can't exactly play the run. Is this going to be on us? Okay, offense. Good. Wasn't uh, fracturing the neutral zone, whatever it's called. So, yeah, that's good. Good stuff right there on uh, defense from us for not jumping on a fake snap right there. But, fortunately for them, the offense did. Oh, my God. We don't have... It's a fun ball. Pick it up. Don't let Chris Godwin get that. Is that possible? I lose my sanity playing this. And my stupid fucking chair squeaks like a motherfucker, dude. Sorry for the explicit episodes, but, like... And it's just going to be a dot. Dude, this kid's a 73 overall. And he's throwing that. Fucking chair sucks, dude. And we're actually going to try to play the game instead of force the ball to John Mechie the whole time. Dude, 69. Who is that? Who's number 69? Is that Corey Weston? Make a fucking block, dude. He just let everybody on the Bucks defense just roam right in. Look at this. Corey Weston, if he picks up that that uh, Devin White block right there, we have room to run through the middle of that gap. But uh, just lets him go right on by. He's like, all right, I know that's cool. That's awesome. I'm, I'm cool. But uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, All right, well, I'm back now. Uh, unfortunately, I'm back now. Um, this game's fucking stupid, pointless, dumb, not worth the money. Don't buy it if you haven't already. Or if you have, haven't yet. No, I was right the first time. This game's full of horse shit. And it's a pick from Bobby Biddle! The rookie corner just makes an insanely sensational play. Saying, look what I can do. Man, that was awesome. By Bobby Biddle here. And Damian Pierce going to try to outrun Vita Vea. That just doesn't seem like a possibility. As, uh, we'll move my mic where it's supposed to be. But, goodness gracious. What a sensational play by the rookie. I mean, did you expect that? I didn't. We had triangle all fucking day long. I just wasn't looking. I was looking to scramble out of my boots because i'm looking for john fucking mechie i hate challenges should have just told him to suck it and this one's just gonna be a dead duck in the fucking air dude Ugh! this game sucks four interceptions for davis mills 15 incompletions only 13 completions worst dog shit punter in the fucking league get this one up to the fucking 50 yard line if we're lucky what are you Derek singley jr's tripping over nothing Dude did shrooms before this shit. Guaranteed. Well, we had a chance. We had our chances. We had our fucking four interceptions as well. Helped us out a lot this game. Or like four or five punts as well. It's just kind of dumb. Derek Singley Jr. is lazy. Tripping on nothing once again. Just by the way. In case you guys aren't picking up on that. Go back. Rewatch that. Oh, this is awesome. Having so much fun. What? Oh, I'm going to kill myself. He's about to get up and run again. Oh, this game's fucking broken, dude. Oh, I just want to all-out blitz every single play, dude. That sounds like so much fun. Force a fumble. No, fuck it. Let him score, dude. I hate this stupid shit. OJ Howard with a touchdown. whoop de doo we have nothing going on offense here except getting blitzed and and John Mechie just getting bitched every play. 
I mean, that stat line from Davis Mills is unacceptable, dude. And you know what sucks even worse about it is there's nothing we can do about it. Like, it just, like, I think we're making the right plays. And some of this shit should not be interceptions. Sammy Watkins makes a good play off the, the slant there. We'll double cross. We'll go over here. And, yeah, we'll run the ball with Damian Pierce trying to get some yards. Probably should be doing this the whole entire game, but we just don't have time to do it now as we'll just try to take a couple of deep shots or whatever. Roll out. Looks like we have Brevin Jordan, but watch this. Interception. No, but somehow pass broken up. I mean, whatever. John Mechie onto the field now. Uh, playing in that slot role. We'll try to target him. And he'll break a tackle, work up field. Good job from him, I guess. It's not like it's completely game-changing cha or game-wrecking for him, though. And we'll try to get it to him again, but it just won't happen. John Mechie's had his chances in this game. And Davis Mills has hid has had his chances in this game as well. But uh, 83 yards. We literally need 17 more yards. Are you kidding me? As we'll throw this one out. And number 11 there. Is that Fuller? Kendall Fuller or Kyle Fuller? Either one of them doesn't make that play in real life. I promise you that. Shedding a block from an offensive lineman that fast? No. And it's just fucking picked off, dude. Just let him house it. Just let him house it. Isaiah, don't even. Right now, we're playing to get John Mechie all of his yards. So, I know it's a wrong throw. I'm just trying to force it to him. I hate challenges in this stupid fucking game. How unrealistic. Like, if my receiver's upset about not being involved, I, I, the goal would probably to be to get... Close my door. My goal would probably be to get five receptions or six receptions just to get him involved not not a hundred yards obviously he's not a big game plan guy like you don't game plan for him to get the ball but we game plan for guys like nico collins to get the ball because he's good but john mechie obviously just not playing that well so understand take a joke this one's up and this one's almost intercepted cool no it's expected though expected We'll run the ball here with Damian Pierce. And then cut back. See what he can do. Gets five yards. Third and five. As we will try to call a play that has John Mechie on it. And actually looks quite open. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, just take it down. There it is. Not quite as many yards as you need from him. But uh, going to be close. Nine yards. Let's get Mechie nine yards at all costs. This one, no P.I., no P.I.? Devin White walks right in my way and there's no P.I. Yeah, my dick. Nine yards for John Mechie, that's it. And that's it right there. Nine yards for John Mechie. Five INTs from Davis Mills. Just struggling right now. And John Mechie can't make that play. Make it six interceptions, actually. Uh, Pacheco wants to make a play there. So yeah, uh, I'll get to you guys with the fucking stats. And looking at player stats now, 19 passer rating, 40 attempts, 189 yards, two t or no touchdowns, 6 INTs. Just something depressing to look at, you know? Damian Pierce ran the ball well, probably should have been doing that a little bit more than forcing it to bumfuck John Mechie, who got 9 receptions 104 yards big game for him but it doesn't even matter we lost like by a mile because of him uh being so bad and he just never is open anyways so that's whatever uh christian harris and kevin waddle were flying all over the field christian harris had a great game uh a tackle for loss a sack and had a pass deflection of forced fumble fumble recovery 44 yards and a touchdown so Honestly, he's probably my player of the week if I'm ahead of this whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go look for a good thumbnail now. And yeah, that was by far the worst game we've ever fucking played in our lives. But Desmond King has an upgrade. Woohoo! My day is better. Man coverage, zone coverage, both really good. But I think man to man can actually improve a little bit more. Man coverage goes up by two. Good to see that. Kenyon Green, the left guard, has been all right for us. 
His speed must suck. Yeah, it's 64. I mean, dude. Agile. Let's let's try that. Let's try to get him into an agile team here. Fast block finesse. Just trying to, to make him a little bit better all around. Christian Harris, our star middle linebacker, has played insanely well. Just still trying to make him as round as like as rounded as we can. And I think that with all the user snaps we use on Kevin Waddle, we could use him better in uh, pass coverage. And 70 zone coverage is really good. What's his man coverage? 65? Yeah, I remember it being pretty high. And then Max Warwick here as well. Uh, power moves and block shed. I mean, try to just upgrade run stopper to a 75. And then we'll start upgrading his uh, power rusher. That way he can get to the quarterback, not just the uh, running back. And we'll just auto upgrade our punter there. A bunch of stuff. Crisis in confidence. Oh boy. What did John Me John Mechie better get like a dev trade upgrade? Like or like a ten thousand XP boost, cause that we tanked a whole entire game for him. It's bittersweet to have a nice game but not end up winning. I want to be happy at the same time winning. What? Happy about your performance, but aren't you in the team goal comes first? Keep playing a little what? John Mechie is in good spirits after his big game. Yeah, well, he shouldn't be, because I can guarantee you there's some trade talks around the league. That's all I can really tell you guys, really. What's the deadline right there? We have, like, I'm confused. What, when the, when's the deadline? Oh, we can still, that. okay, that's the trade. So I'm guessing it's week eight. And then, yeah, weekly awards, it's going to be Christian Harris. It's got to be, yeah. One sack, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, a touchdown, eight tackles. Just had to be. Uh, we don't see, we see Kevin Waddle, I mean, almost the same exact thing going, except he had one more tackle, and not a sack, though. So, interesting uh, game there that we played. Five players ready to negotiate still. Don't, not interested in bringing them all back. We are one in five. It's rough, it's rough, I know. We had a chance at winning that game, but we just tried to force John Mechie a little bit there. And uh, quarterback play was awful, god-awful, and... Uh, yeah, that'll probably do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did watch till now, I do appreciate it so much. Uh, if you guys want to watch me continue to rage, subscribe, and I'll be back in a, in a few days. And uh, a Broncos rebuild should be up after this as well. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.